Obama's graduation and love story. Sasha's big day Sasha Obama sighed as she looked out the window of the black SUV. Brown leaves swelled in the fall breeze outside as the car made its way through the scenic campus of Sidwell Friends School. Today was Sasha's big day, her high school graduation. Four years of hard work were finally coming to an end. She felt a mix of emotions, excitement, nerves, sadness. Excitement to finally be done with school and looking forward to the next chapter of her life in college. Nerves about giving her valedictorian speech in front of the entire graduating class and their families. Sadness at the closing of this chapter and leaving behind all the friends she had made at Sidwell. Sasha glanced over at her parents in the front seat. Her mom, Michelle, was smiling warmly at her. Excited for today honey, she asked. Sasha nodded. Bit nervous too. Her dad, Barack, turned around in the passenger seat to grin at her. You've got this kiddo. Proudest dad here. Sasha smiled, feeling a surge of confidence from her parents' support. The car pulled up in front of the graduation assembly hall. Sasha took a deep breath as she got out. Students were milling about on the lawn, dressed in their navy blue caps and gowns. Laughter and chatter filled the air. Sasha scanned the crowd for familiar faces and spotted her best friends Morgan, Lizzie, and Samantha waving to her from across the lawn. She made her way over. Can you believe we made it, gushed Morgan, throwing an arm around Sasha. High school is officially over. We did it girls. The four friends had been inseparable since freshman year. Sasha was beyond grateful to have had them by her side through it all. Time sure flew by, said Lizzie wistfully. Sam nodded. So many memories. But this is just the beginning, college awaits. Sasha grinned at her girls, feeling a surge of love and gratitude for their friendship. Just then a voice came over the loudspeaker, all graduating students, please report inside for lineup and procession. This was it. Sasha gave her friends a big hug. See you on the other side, she said with a smile. Her heart swelled with pride as she put on her cap and gown and followed her classmates into the hall. The ceremony went off without a hitch. Sasha choked up a bit giving her valedictorian speech about memories, milestones, and looking forward. Cheers and applause erupted when diplomas were handed out. Caps were thrown joyfully into the air at the end, signaling the close of this chapter. Sasha beamed as she accepted hugs and congratulations from friends and family after the ceremony. Her grandparents had flown in from Hawaii and her aunts and uncles from all over the country. We're so proud of you, said her grandma Michelle with tears in her eyes. That evening there was a graduation party at the White House, as was tradition. Sasha looked radiant in her blue party dress as she mingled with friends and loved ones under decorated tents on the south lawn. To Sasha, her dad announced during a toast. The brightest, most compassionate young woman. We can't wait to see where your journey leads next. Sasha smiled, feeling overcome with love for her family and support system. Later that night as Sasha lay in bed reflecting on the perfect day, her thoughts drifted to one person in particular, Alex. Alex Rodriguez had been in some of Sasha's classes since middle school but they had really started getting to know each other better junior year. Alex was captain of the baseball team and student body president. He was kind, funny and extremely smart. Sasha had been nursing a bit of a crush on him for a while. She pulled out her phone and sent Alex a text, thank you for coming today. It meant a lot to have your support as I celebrated this accomplishment. Hope you're enjoying your summer so far. A few minutes later her phone buzzed with a reply. Congratulations again Sasha, you deserve the world. Let me take you out to dinner this weekend to celebrate properly. Your choice of restaurant. Sasha beamed, feeling butterflies erupt in her stomach. This could be the start of something new and exciting. That Saturday, Sasha and Alex met up for dinner at an upscale Italian bistro in downtown DC. Sasha wore a flowing sundress and had curled her hair, hoping to look nice but not too dressy. 
Alex looked handsome in khakis and a button-down shirt that brought out his green eyes. You look beautiful, he said softly when he greeted her. Sasha blushed, feeling shy all of a sudden. They made polite small talk over appetizers, discussing summer plans and reminiscing about high school memories. But there was an underlying electricity between them, a tension that had been building for a long time. Over main courses their eyes met across the table more frequently, lingering a beat too long. Alex reached across and touched Sasha's hand gently. I'm really glad we could do this. Spend time together without the stresses of school. Sasha nodded, getting lost in his kind gaze. Me too, she replied simply. For dessert they shared a piece of chocolate mousse cake, feeding each other bites playfully across the table. By the time the check came, Sasha was feeling bold. As Alex walked her to her car, she turned to him, heart pounding. Thank you for a wonderful night, Alex. I was wondering, would you like to go on another date sometime? Alex broke into a grin. I was hoping you'd ask. I'd love to. He leaned in and brushed his lips gently against Sasha's. A shock went through her whole body at the electrifying contact. When they parted, Alex was smiling softly. Good night Sasha. Dream sweet dreams. Sasha drove home in a daze, replaying the kiss over and over in her mind. Was this really happening? Was Alex Rodriguez actually her boyfriend now? The whole thing felt surreal but made her incredibly happy. That summer Alex and Sasha went on many more blissful dates, hiking in Rock Creek Park, bowling at the White House, catching a Nationals game. Their connection grew stronger with each outing. All too soon, it was time for college. Sasha would be attending Harvard in the fall to study political science, while Alex was off to Georgetown for pre-med. They spent Sasha's last weekend in D.C. relaxing at Great Falls Park, soaking in each other's company and trying not to think about the impending long-distance separation. Promise me we'll make this work no matter what, Sasha whispered to Alex as they cuddled under the stars that night, not ready to say goodbye yet. Alex wrapped her in a hug. I promise. You're too special to let go of, Sasha Obama. He leaned in for a tender kiss that conveyed all the feelings they had for each other. The first semester away was challenging but Sasha and Alex made an effort to visit each other every few weekends, alternating between Boston and D.C. They FaceTimed every night and texted constantly throughout the day. Christmas break was a blissful reunion where they barely left Sasha's bedroom at the White House. By spring things had settled into a comfortable long-distance routine. Sasha was thriving at Harvard and excelling in her studies. Alex was kicking but in his pre-med program as well. That April, on one of their visits, Alex surprised Sasha with tickets to the Red Sox home opener. As they cheered on the team at Fenway Park, surrounded by the energy of the lively crowd, Alex got down on one knee. Sasha, my love, my best friend, will you make me the happiest man alive and marry me, he asked, eyes glistening with emotion. Sasha gasped in shock, hands flying to cover her gaping mouth. Tears welled up as she nodded enthusiastically. Yes. Yes of course I'll marry you Alex. The crowd around them erupted in cheers as Alex slipped the simple yet stunning diamond ring on Sasha's finger. They embraced passionately, overcome with joy. The engagement was the talk of campus for weeks. Sasha couldn't stop smiling happier than she ever dreamed she could be. That summer Sasha and Alex celebrated their engagement with family and friends at the White House. Sasha glowed in her champagne-colored dress as she introduced Alex to dignitaries and thanked everyone for coming. Her dad gave a hilarious, heartfelt speech welcoming Alex to the family officially. Sasha beamed with pride at how far she and Alex had come. Their love story was just beginning. The wedding took place the following summer after Sasha's junior year, on the south lawn of the White House in a gorgeous lavish affair. Sasha cried happy tears walking down the aisle in her custom Vera Wang gown towards Alex who was waiting for her, handsome as ever in his tux. Their vows to always cherish and support one another brought everyone to tears.